Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. After a few weeks of travel vlogs, I think it's time for an unboxing video. Guys, you can see that I got all dressed up for this special moment today. It's my birthday month and this little precious baby couldn't have come at a more apt time. And I can't begin to strut to tell you guys how happy I am with this new acquisition. Let's not keep the suspense anymore. Let's unbox. I've been waiting for her like forever. I'm just so so lucky and feeling so grateful that she's actually in Jaycee's closet. So let's start. You can see from this box that it is a small handbag. Just how small is it? Before I start, I would like to tell you guys that it is one in my favorite color, two one of my favorite sizes, and three, one of my favorite styles. And four, in my favorite kind of leather. So let's start. She doesn't want to see you guys yet. She's shy. She is shy. I don't know if you guys can already guess the color given my setup today but I was trying to wear a neutral white so that I can keep you in suspense but I guess I'm not very good at it. It is a Mini Kelly 20. Now for the review of this color. If you haven't already guessed. Ta -da! Bubblegum Pink. Hello, little Miss Bubblegum. Welcome to the family. So the bubblegum pink is considered as the holy grail of all pink bags by longtime Hermes collectors. And bubblegum pink in both normal leather and exotic has got the highest resale value on the secondary market as compared to any other color. Why? Because every girl loves pink. Am I right? How can anybody say I hate pink, except maybe Callista, my daughter. Nah, mommy, I don't like pink. That's what she was saying. And I'd be like, oh my god, can anybody hate pink? She probably hates unicorns too. And this color probably has the highest resale value due to its demand and popularity. And of course, it is not easy to be offered a color like that especially in an exotic skin. Aww. You will be so treasured here. Now, let's unveil the full glory and beauty of this little Miss Bubblegum. I'm gonna be very, very careful with her. I should wear gloves, but I want her to feel my love through my hand. So I'm taking out the protective cover for the bag and this would be her strap right here. So the inside of this bag is lined with the same color in leather. Let's have a look at her stamp. I don't even know where the stamp is. Oh. I thought they are putting it at the side now, but let's... She's very tiny, so and I don't want to stretch her too much. Let's 
let's find it let's find it is it here is it here no i can't find a stamp so after almost disintegrating this poor kelly bag i finally found a stamp <laughs> coming from me i don't even know where the stamp is all right guys it is right here I don't know how am I going to even show it, but it is next to the pocket and there is like this number. Can you even see it? Shall I shine a light? It is like right here. I don't know. I'm trying my best. I'm so sorry. I actually hit her on the handle with the lighting. Poor baby got abused on the first day. She gets up off the box. <laughs> okay. I am going to be very, very careful. All right, and um, she is an alligator as indicated by this little square box. Right here, next to the blind stamp, she has got palladium hardware. So let's look at her strap. She has a matching alligator strap and a stamp right here with the same square box to indicate the kind of crocodile she is. Let's put the strap on her. Ah, oh no, be careful, be careful. Oh, I love you so much, I just don't want to scratch you yet. And because I'm so clumsy with my stuff, I just don't want to put the first scratch on it like for the longest time. But when I do, and then I'll be like, okay, I can finally enjoy my bag. So there she is. Now I'm going to stand up and show you guys how she looks on me. Isn't she the most darling handbag ever? jewelry in my favorite color and I can't believe that even my nails match with her wow. so little miss bubblegum has joined the family and she already has a daddy right here this is mr. bubblegum he's huge and very heavy. This is a Kelly size 35. And I thought it would be cute to show you guys which other of the bubblegum paints I have in my collection. And as you guys know that I am a big fan of the color pink and I have so many, so many different shades of pink MS bags in my collection, but I'll never, never get tired of them. In fact, you know, I don't even mind having the same pinks in different sizes and different style you know a girl can never have too much pink so daddy has some um, faded kind of because he's from i think to 013 and if you compare little miss bubblegum she's of course um in a very fresh pink i think daddy has um lost a little bit of his luster and possibly the leather mattify over time and that it has this patina as you can see from the handle it's kind of shiny whereas uh, the brand new bubblegum is very very matte compared to that and of course the sweat and oils from my hands through the years on him you can see that daddy has already developed a patina and you know, I really want to find a mummy bubblegum pink bag to complete the family, just like my Himalaya. And oh, you know, bubblegum pink has an even higher resale value than the Himalaya Birkin. I don't understand. Okay, I can relate. I would rather have a pink bag. So actually, I was thinking of using her this way. On days that I feel that I need a hand workout, I might take daddy out and have little Miss, Miss Bubblegum. Yeah. So where am I going to take daddy and daughter to tonight? I'm getting quite a workout. Biceps. Yeah. Developing my biceps. Don't forget to do the other hand. 
you want to have equal biceps. So three on the side and another three on the side. I think the at least seven kilos, five to seven. I think maybe I should get a weighing scale. Okay, so I, I'm going to show you guys more of the bubble gum pink colors that I have. So revealing the rest of the bubble gum pinks right here. Curtains, ta-da! Oh, what's Miss Rose Sakura doing here? She's not a bubblegum pink. And what is Miss Rose Indian doing here? She's not a bubblegum pink. But anyway, they are all kind of like light pastel pink. So I thought that I would show it to you guys as well. This is a bubblegum pink in Lizard. And she's a Kelly Porsche. She's developed a little bit of jaundice throughout the year, so she doesn't really look exactly very bubblegum, I don't know. It's just kind of different, but she is a bubblegum pink. And uh, this is bubblegum pink in Epsom leather in a Kelly cut. And the true, true bubblegum pink in a Birkin 30. She's one of my favorite bags. She's got like matte palladium hardware as you can see it is not a shiny hardware it is very muted and very very matte she's got a contrast piping in a grease clear color and contrast stitching and a contrast lining in the same grease clear leather i really love this bag you know a little story when i first got her um, of course, this is my special order as you can see from the horseshoe stamp right here. I ordered her in this combination and she came and uh, I went to the store to get her. The first time I saw her, I was like, why does she have all these lines running through her? And I was really not very happy. So as you can see, she's in a Togo leather. And sometimes, because it is a natural kind of leather, and they have got like these veins. It's different cows have got different characteristics. I'm just really quite sad that my bubblegum pink has got like these lines running through and I almost didn't buy her, you know, because of that. But boy, am I glad I got over it and I just like, okay, whatever, right? I would have totally beaten myself up for not buying her. She's bubblegum pink, come on. Doesn't matter if she has grains like that. It's not her fault. I love her anyway. I'm going to love her a lot and overlook her imperfections. True love is like that. You need to overlook the person's imperfections. And the other, of course, another holy grail bag is this bubblegum pink Kelly doll. I have never actually even put anything in her before because she's just so tiny, but just so cute for my collection. I know many people are going to die for her. They will die for her. So, these are my bubblegum pinks. Uh, little Miss Unperfect bubblegum pink. I want to complete my family of bubblegum pinks. So, I'm going to work hard so that I can complete the family. I think the Rose Sakura could serve as a good comparison between the two pinks. Bubblegum has got a more bluish tint to it, a true, true pink. Whereas the Rose Sakura, I feel, has got like a tinge of peachy. I think it's peachy? Not very, very much peach, but it's just a different shade. Uh, if you want to do a comparison right here. I feel that the Rose Sakura is easier to match, a more neutral pink. But of course, the bubblegum pink, it pops like bubblegum. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video of the bubblegum pink Kelly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Do show me some love by clicking like button and I appreciate all your lovely comments 
just want to say that sometimes I do read my comments and thank you, thank you so much to all of you for all these lovely comments. You have no idea that sometimes I feel so touched by your comments and some are funny, it really makes my day, brightens up my day. Some put a big smile on my face, some just encourage me to keep going. Thank you guys so much, ever so grateful. So I'll see you next week. Think pink and good vibes only. All right, I'm gonna get changed for dinner. I'm gonna take this skirt off because every time I wear it, someone steps on it and tear it. Enough is enough, okay? I'm not gonna let this skirt tear another time. See you next week.